Hey there, welcome back guys. This video comes highly recommended from Adam Plummer. Um, thanks for asking that question because I was like, just when you think like, hey, that pretty much sums it up for the only how-tos, but then I was like, hey, um, you know, not everyone knows what dynamic versus standard is and not everyone has those features available. Um, so these features, these print features are actually available in the um, Ultimaker Cura application, uh, which I have on my Macintosh. And um, as uh, you can see here, um, anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. I'll compare the differences between the two so that you can see. But before we jump into it, uh, I'll show you how uh, the dynamic prints, which I love. The only thing downside to dynamic is that um, it takes forever, believe it or not. Like, it takes hours. Like, one particular piece that I printed took about 45 minutes in standard mode, but unfortunately, it's crappy. You know, you don't have that um, quality that you're looking for. Oh, so here we are, right here. See that? So this, this is printed, this is the same part, right? Same piece here, solid like a rock. Dynamic just creates an amazing structure that you want for your piece, right? And standard is just crunchy. You know, I'm not really sure what you would use these particular prints for, um, but even when I printed my Benchy, see that, that was in, this is in standard. Standard didn't really have the best experience. It's like, makes every, it, it'll print a sort of like a silhouette of it, but inside it's hollow and fragile. And you have to be careful um, for me. So if you print something in standard, you can't rip it right off the board. You want it to just flick right off. I tend to wait um, like 10 to 15 minutes after my prints until the board cools. And then what happens is if I do like that, I'll show you a sample in a second. So you guys can see, as you can see, one sec. See, it just, every print I do just flicks right off. You just gotta wait. You know, if, if you gotta have it like right now, it'll be like, oh no, it's not coming off. What do I do? you wait um, but if it's still sticking after you wait then you got some other issues uh, so yeah so look at this look at this little fidget here it's so strong it's solid like a rock inside out and it prints perfectly uh, I'm not gonna put it together just yet I believe the kids want to paint it it's a little fidget thing we'll save that for another video anyway without any further ado I'll show you the differences between the two different prints because one in the curality application doesn't have uh, standard or dynamic only in the um, other application which you'll see right here come I'll show you all right so for those of you who want to know the difference between standard and dynamic print this is going to be a sample here um, you can follow along with these files or even your print files okay so without any further ado let's get started so uh, if you have the area gray like this or whatever color you want to call it you want to um, slide it over that means that it's not going to print so in this case you slide it over a tad. Yellow means all your everything in the yellow will print. Okay, anything on the sidelines will be grayed out or milky, whatever we want to call the color, and it won't print. All right, so and then we have our different views here for those of you who don't know. All right, so moving forward, um, we're only going to print that one particular piece that you saw for the ferret, right? That I wanted to print, and um, you know, a lot of times with these fidgets, you can print spare parts. You're like, oh no, this part broke, but that's only going to happen if you print in uh, standard mode. If you print in uh, dynamic, the pieces should last forever. And you may run into a glitch trying to put it together. And hopefully you don't have to print it again. I tend to use olive oil to piece things together. But, you know, but use what you like to each their own. So as you see here, um, so some of you might not, some of you might be novice. Some of you might be experts and not even know what um, uh, standard and dynamic is because it's not available in your um, slicer. So apparently this uh, standard and dynamic feature is only available in the Ultimaker Cure. So for example, standard quality, okay, right here. And these are the different resolutions. Low, standard, we already saw standard. That was uh, a little troublesome, but dynamic, we also saw it too. It's solid, built like a rock, and just works well for, you know, little prints like that. Now, if you if you go into standard quality, there is a way to finagle it, uh, you know, by going into the custom and then changing things. Um, you, you have to know what you're doing to do that. Um, and again, this video is for those who want to know the difference. And, it just, and if you just want to use you know, the out-of-the-box defaults, then just go to dynamic quality, okay? And 
slice it. Wait for it to slice. This piece will take about three hours. See, three hours and 16 minutes. Now, in standard quality, okay, if I slice it, maybe it'll take 45 minutes, less than an hour, two hours. Wow, that's in standard quality. And that's for this particular piece, which is a little bit troublesome. And sometimes, depending on your slicer, um, you know, you might have a different experience. So let's try um, the Ultimaker Cura. That's still a big um, chunk of change, but you know, that's the price you pay to have a um, standard quality versus dynamic quality, which of course, again, will take a little bit longer. But if you can finagle the custom settings, um, which are here, uh, you know, to, to work in, in your favor, then great. But just remember, it's gonna be experimental. And right now, the um, standard settings by default, as you can see, it's hollow and brittle and not strong. But I think it's probably good for a prototype or just so you can get the gist of it to see how it'll print and you can stop it. All right, so then you know, you know you have your preview here, but that's another story. And now if we go here, right, you see the same print, um, but if you're using the um, Creality print uh, slicer, you're not gonna see standard, right, or dynamic. You have high quality and you have normal. So as you saw, that piece was actually printed in normal because I was experimenting with it to see if there was a difference between the Curiality uh, slicer and the Ultimaker uh, Cura slicer. And apparently not. So uh, the, let's see what the high quality is though. Let's see time-wise versus the difference, maybe a little bit or a lot. And then here, uh, look, you got about two hours and 23 minutes, right? Uh, which isn't so bad. You know, it's not good, it's not bad, but you know, it is what it is, right? And if you go back to prepare again, remember that was in high quality, which is pretty good if you ask me compared to um, the Ultimaker Cura. Um, you know, so there's a big bit of a time difference, but I don't, um, you know, I, I can't compare because I haven't printed the high quality in, uh, in this slicer, but I tend to use this one's a little bit, this one's okay. I like it, I like how it's in dark mode, which is really nice. Um, let's see the normal how long it will take to print to slice it here. Remember normal is going to be hollow, not so great. Uh, an hour and 14 minutes. Um, so there could be a, see how it just glitched right there? That's the only thing I don't like about the Creality print slicer. Um, but if we go back again, hopefully they have a open recent uh, uh, option in the menu. If not, we'll have to go back. See, other do selected, uh, clear rebuild, reset, view. No, there's no open recent. So what we can do is we can take this and put it in this window and then drag in um, the part of the ferret and the um, extension B. Maybe it'll reset. You'll see the standard, standard print quality. I wonder if that will change. You press there to the top to make it disappear. And we'll just bring two hours. Hmm, interesting. Big difference, and that's standard quality. Let's try quitting it. You know, sometimes if you quit the application, uh, that might um, change the experience. Maybe something is. Maybe it's. Um, there's still something cached in there from the previous build. Uh, you know, that we didn't clear the build plate. So let's see. Remember, this is standard. Okay, and still two hours. Wow, big difference. But you're gonna get good quality. Um, you know, no matter what, you just have to decide. And, you know, it's really an hour, an hour difference in dynamic on the other one, you know, times a little bit longer. But remember, as you can see, I'm not in the recommended settings. I'm in a different setting. So if I go to recommended, that may change everything. So now we're going to do dynamic, right, in the recommended settings. Okay. Uh, we're not going to save it to removable. We're just going to, let's try, whoops. Looks like a crash. So that's the only other thing, the only downside to open source, okay? Occasionally, as you can see, it will crash. Uh, but as you can see, I'm not in Chrome. Welcome back to everything that glitches. Okay, so we'll just open it a again and let it work its magic. And we'll just, uh, op you know, hopefully everything will work. So remember, now we're in here. We're not in custom, okay? All right, so now we'll just click on extension B. Go there. Let's try again for, we want to try standard quality. 
And for, remember, we're not in custom because usually it would say recommended. Still two hours. All right, so that is what it is. But you got now you got a different. You can see the difference between dynamic and standard. Even though it's going to take longer to print, probably because each layer is going to be so finely, thinly sliced, right? Um, but it's going to be hollow and empty. Okay. All right. So I hope this helps you, and good luck with your next project. And it's as simple as that. Dynamic or standard, you decide. Some prints work out well, and I can say in the uh, standard, like if it's flat for me, the fish. But you know, so far I, I don't have any complaints about any of the prints I'm doing. So you know, I've been doing uh, everything is working out well, except when I put it in standard mode. So I just leave everything in dynamic. And as you can see, the Curiality application, which this one was printed in, um, and it's uh, I think it's called the normal, right? made no difference whether it was in the Curiality or the Cura. I still got the same exact, you know, crappy print opposed to the beautiful, look at that, dynamic. It's getting there, but uh, right now the uh, head is printing in dynamic mode. Now again, it's gonna take longer. It's gonna take like three hours. Come, I'll show you guys um, what's happening here with my uh, dynamic print. I'll just bring this camera with me. So as you can see, if you look closer, the head is printing right now. It's actually in dynamic mode. But if you look closer, you can see there's layer upon layer. It's not hollow. It's basically solid. And it's printing these sort of like uh, honeycomb type hexagram, hexagon type shapes, and then just making it stronger all the way around. See, that's going to be the head. And everything is just solid inside out. So if they drop it, it's going to be great. You know, maybe they're more, um, yeah more um what do they call it you know applications and, and 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 what it should be used for with a standard mode but right now you know this is my experience with the standard mode and um you know hopefully um you'll have either the same or even better anyway i hope this video helped you if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time.